Right, that's right. I want to talk about Pierce Morgan when we come back because it's a media phenomenon. He he never imploded. He never died. He was dead on arrival. Yeah, that's right. That's he right. showed up and had no they ratings. Carded him in dead. Yeah, they rolled in the, the dead body. Yeah. And then now they're declaring he's not dead and giving him a once a month show. Right. Because they don't want to admit that he, that he failed. Well, yeah, he right. never succeeded. Yeah. You, you, have, you have to succeed and later fail. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com the globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. So-called presidential kill list that's gotten a lot of attention mm. and this, this list of, of folks who have been targeted for assassination. Right. And on that list have been U.S. citizens who have not been afforded trial, including Anwar Awalaki. Mm. Uh, how do you, as president, or any president for that matter, regardless of party or person, utilize that power to assassinate even U.S. citizens? Well, first of all, you're uh, basing this on uh, reports in uh, the news that uh, have never been confirmed by me. Uh, and I don't talk about our national security uh, decisions in that way. Well, what an answer. The president won't confirm that list, but he won't deny the list. Okay, but let's add another layer here, because that presidential kill list, it didn't just get out because of hard-nosed journalists breaking the story. It was leaked by the administration. In that two-shot, I nodded my head when the president said that he hadn't confirmed these reports. And that's true. So who has? Well, to the New York Times, William Daly, President Obama's chief of staff in 2011, 
talked openly about this kill list, saying the administration knew they couldn't simply just go on adding more names indefinitely. Dennis Blair, the director of National All right, Intelligence... All that's uh, Ben Swan back on his Fox show uh, getting to question Obama. And, and, of course, that was a few years ago. Uh, now he openly brags about it and says, I'm really good at killing people. Right. So th this is the attempt of, like, denying that the ocean has fish in it or something. This is the level of, hey, you can keep your doctor, it'll cut your premium. You can't keep your doctor, it increase your premium. Uh, it, it, it's this arrogance uh, of lying, and it's getting worse because they don't get in trouble now, even though Congress is a 6% approval rating, 10 at the highest. They just, so, so it's a paradox. Everybody knows they're liars, but they just continue on. Ben Swan, looking at this, how is this the Peace Prize winner? Well, that's a great question. I mean, he doesn't deserve a peace prize, but he never deserved it in the first place. I mean, you gave him the peace prize when he'd only been around for, you know, a very short amount of time. I mean, what we're talking about, uh, he'd barely uh, gotten into the White House and he already had a peace prize around his neck. Uh, and it wasn't based upon anything he had done, uh, but I don't think it matters because it's that that's all a political game, right? It's about he's the guy we like and when he kills people, it's okay. They must be bad people. When Bush does it, then then no, that's he's a war criminal. Yeah, but it's trendy when Obama does. It. That's right. It's cool to do it when it's he Obama. shoots hoops and you know. Yeah. I mean that that's the that's the mentality and that's what's really I think embarrassing for media in the United States is this double standard where they do not hold this president accountable to anyone or anything. Well, the word is Jay Leno did those jokes about Obama and stuff. That's why he was taken out. And now the guy that replaced him, his ratings are falling. Yep. And then that takes us back to Piers Morgan. You, you were talking about him during the break. Yeah. What is your take on that whole phenomenon? Well, I, I think, first of all, you made a great point. When when Piers Morgan came in, he was billed as being this, this phenom who was showing up from Great Britain. He was a brilliant journalist. He was a great interviewer because apparently he made some prime minister cry at some point. Well, Barbara Walters does the same thing. We don't call her uh, a, a great hard-nosed journalist. Um, and yet- you know, here's Piers Morgan. He shows up on air, and his show was was it fell flat from day one. His highest moment, really, in his entire time, was with you. I mean, when you were on his show and you <laughs> basically lambasted him, um, that was that was Piers Mo Morgan's moment. That aired on basically every news show in the West, Japan. It aired on every comedy show from Comedy Central and the Colbert Report and Stewart right through to Jay Leno. It was seen by probably a billion people. And it was a dead cat bounce for him. His ratings went up for a while, but went right back down because it discredited him. And they're always telling us, be nice, don't stick your head up, uh, you know, don't get noticed. That's how you win in politics. But then they're vicious. They want us to stand down and not be aggressive so they can be aggressive and take over. That's right. I think the moral there is Paul Revere wrote around saying, get weapons and kill people. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. Right. I'm raising my voice saying, look, you're here to take our guns. It's going to start a civil war if you do. Mm -hmm. And, and Piers Morgan knows that. Everybody knows that. Stop mincing words. Stop letting them set the parameters of the debate where I have then a fake debate with him so I'll be invited back on his show. Right. I'd rather blow his show up politically with a political hand grenade of truth and be done with him. Well, look, and, and remember, whenever anybody talks about that interview, they always say, did you see Alex Jones on Piers Morgan? Not, did you see Piers Morgan interview Alex Jones? And the difference is, is that people are saying, did you see Alex Jones, what he had to say, how he said it? Piers was just, he, he just happened to be there. He was a, a casualty. He was a, a sideshow. Uh, and so there was nothing to do with him. And so as you said, look, his, his ratings were terrible. That guy has posted some of the worst ratings in CNN's history. 380,000 viewers. Incredible. But we're talking about in key demos, 50,000, 48,000 people in key demos. That's what the advertising Now, now like. to put that in perspective, my show is only in the top 15 or so. And it's probably like 14th or something. And Talker says, you know, in the top 25. Terrestrial radio, 3 million listeners a day. Yeah. I mean, Rush Limbaugh has like 15 million a day. Right. Uh, Coast to Coast AM, like 6, 7 million a day. Sean Hannity, 10 million a day. Uh, Michael Savage, 10 million a day. So I'm not up here beating my chest. Hey, I'm a big guy. Literally, look at the fanfare, though, around a CNN. Oh, absolutely. Around their guy with 380,000 viewers in the entire U.S. That's... 5.90 a.m. in Austin, I happen to know when I'm on, in the morning, mm -hmm. especially if there's tornadoes or something, has had up to a half million listeners. Mm -hmm. Or a, two million people in total metro, you know, a half million tune in. Yeah. Usually it's a couple hundred thousand in the morning. Yeah. I mean, it shows how it's a facade, Ben. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's like small market local TV. 
or what his ratings were. And and they but the, what's amazing is his ratings were like that for what two and a half, three, four years, however long he was on there. I mean, they kept him in that position, and it's not just Piers Morgan. I mean, we're beating up on Piers a little bit. MSNBC's tanking, absolutely, or anything on CNN. Try any program on CNN; nobody's watching them. And so their answer to that is instead of actually covering more news and instead of responding to what consumers want, it's like, well, let's go out and let's get some reality. Listen, TV. they could stick a local libertarian talk show host on there and get two million viewers a night. They could. They I guarantee you, if they stuck you in that slot, you do the investigative reports, that show would have 5 million viewers in a month. It would. because, because they You would beat Fox News. But they won't do it oh, because no. they want to control the message. That's right, because it's, it's more important that they not win in ratings or have viewers. It's more important that they say the right things. It gives them access. Then the executives go to parties and they're connected to the, you know, the higher ups. Um, but I agree with you. Listen, you could, you could flip CNN in a heartbeat in terms of their ratings if you would just put on some content that people are interested in. But the people controlling the country are making trillions off keeping us in the dark, so they don't care. But then there's the paradox, but you have no viewers, dummy. Mm -hmm. So it's a facade that they're in control, but then they realize they are a facade, so why even keep the facade up? A wind comes by and Piers Morgan blows over. That's right. And, and, and then they replace him now with probably a cooking show. Right, because that's where that's where CNN is headed. I mean, CNN is out actively shopping for reality TV shows in Hollywood right now. I mean, the talk is they're basically saying to any uh, reality show producer, please show us what you've got, and they're going to pay big money for it. That's they it. could stick a hillbilly on there talking about how much you know he loves liberty, and it would have three or four million viewers. But they won't put that on. They're going to put on some some guy who goes around the country tasting food. Uh, because that's their answer. And it's, listen, and, and one point that Jeff Zucker makes, uh, who's now running CNN, and he does make this point, in 12 years, the cable news audience has not grown. And that's that includes Fox, that CNN, MSNBC. In 12 years, there has not been an increase in cable viewership. They've just moved around. The viewers have. And that tells you that something in this formula is not working. I, I have satellite, and I never watch it unless uh, it, I want to see a movie that's on our weather. I mean, I, I go online. And I go to benswan.com, I go to drudgereport.com, I go to worldnetdaily.com. Yeah. Now that's where you're going to get your news from. And that's what people are doing completely around them. It's, it's really an incredible thing to watch American media going through this transformation. It's an exciting transformation. I think it's a great thing. It needs to happen. Um, and it's really only because of the ability that people now have through the internet to be sure. able to access that information. Well, a lot of people ask me, uh, you know, why do you have other talk show hosts on your show? Well, I mean, if I think somebody's doing groundbreaking research and work, it's a war for me. I want to keep the Second Amendment. Yeah. I don't want the state running my kids. I don't want forced inoculations. I don't want the country going bankrupt. I live here. I'm in this to win it. And so I just see other people that are eloquent and intelligent fighting as literally other soldiers in this war that absolutely we need to give each other common aid against the enemy because we're going to hang together or hang separate, as uh, Benjamin Franklin said. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not a game. Yeah. I mean, this is the real deal. That's why I will not attack any other libertarians or any other conservatives or constitutionalists or free media people. Even if they attack me now, I will not attack them. And I've never been an infighter, but I will not attack them now. And I will not respond to attacks because I'm not going to be sitting here later and lose this thing and wish that I wouldn't have been a team player. We need to have an attitude of working together, building each other up to amplify each other's audiences to just absolutely take over the media airwaves and dominate state-run media, discredit it, and, 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 and break with the system. Don't play patty cake with it anymore. We need to just clearly delineate that we are the media. We're not as important as the New York Times. We are not sellouts. We are the real media. We're a million times better than the New York Times or CNN. Absolutely. No, yeah, no question about it. And I totally agree with you. I think it's so important that we do build this, this synergy between new media. And, and as you said, this, well, look, Roger Ailes has a, over at Fox, he has a policy where he says, you never shoot inside the tent. Even if you disagree with somebody who's, who's there at Fox also, he says, you just don't shoot inside the tent because it, there's so much you need to be fighting, so much you need to be worried about. The, the person across from you that you might disagree with on some issue, you never attack them. I think that same, same philosophy, and I think it's, by the way, it's worked very well for Fox, it's the same philosophy we need in new media, which is, you know, you don't shoot inside the tent. There's no reason to attack people who are of the same mindset. What did Cass Sunstein write before he joined the administration um, for Harvard? He also wrote it for Chicago Business. He said, we're going to create fake media we're going to go out like we're the conspiracy theorists is what he called people that question their known lies mm -hmm. obama saying you can keep your doctor 
or there's a death panel, he calls you a conspiracy theorist. That's right. Doesn't matter we're right. He just has a throwaway line intellectually to not have to deal with us. He said, we're going to set up media and create infighting. We'll operate for six months to a year. That's what George Soros and the Pentagon and the White House are doing now. They're organizing and creating fake alternative media who immediately start infighting. Mm -hmm. So the minute you see that, you're looking, folks, at people that have been paid to do it. Yep. So.